Hi, I'm Christine Tizard. I'm the Three Way Chef, and today we're talking all about burgers and wine. I'm here with Jen Huther, who is the first female master sommelier in Canada. So this is amazing. So tell me a little bit more about like what does that mean to be a master sommelier? What exactly do you do in the run of a day? Well. You can do lots of different things. So everything from teaching, um, to tasting, to wine dinners, to working with clients, to working with the liquor boards. Um, nice. So it's really fun. There's no two days are the same. And you spend a lot of time drinking wine. A little bit. Um, yes, it does you come up, up now and again. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you work for? Like name some of the people that you work for. Do you have someone in specific, a specific winery you work for? How does that work? Well, I work for Jackson Family Wines. Oh, nice. So they're a family who's based out of California, Sonoma, and they have uh, just accumulated all these amazing properties and amazing wineries uh, throughout the world, but mostly in Sonoma, and um, Kendall Jackson kicked it all off. And so whenever I'm having a barbecue, everyone's thinking beer and burgers. All my girlfriends come over and they're like, well, where's the wine? So I wanted to show people three different ways that you can serve wine for yep. a backyard barbecue. So I have three different burgers here. The first burger is not a traditional burger at all. It's actually more of a mini slider. No bun, I'm serving them in lettuce cups. And it's kind of like a Mediterranean feel. There are little turkey sliders, there's some zucchini in there. We have some sumac, we have some shallots, some avocado. It's, it's, it's a little bit more fresh than the, the traditional burger. So. What kind of wine are you telling me I should serve with that today? Okay, well that sounds delicious first of all, <laughs> and that's right up my alley, no carbs. Um, <laughs> so let's add a little bit of carbs with the wine. Perfect. Um, so with all those wonderful flavors, um, I think actually a white wine would go really well with that. Mm -hmm. And so I have brought the uh, Chardonnay from Kendall Jackson. And this white wine um, has lovely kind of tropical fruit flavors. And it's mm, bold awesome. and rich for a white wine, so I really think it's gonna stand up to the burger and nice. play off of all those lovely fresh ingredients and just keep everything light. Oh, it is very light. If I'm serving white wine at a barbecue, then how do I keep it nice and cold? What do I have to do? Do I just put it on ice? Do I put it in ice? Do I keep it in the fridge? What's the best thing to do? Well, if you're outside, you probably want it handy. Yeah. So for myself, I usually have like a big bucket. Um, you can get like a beautiful kind of silver bucket or even just a cooler from your garage and fill it with ice, a little bit of water, and submerge the bottles in. Oh, completely. And that will, yeah, and ah. completely. And that'll keep them nice and cold. Nice. And at your fingertips. Nice. Well, cheers. Cheers. This is very, very nice wine. So second burger mm -hmm. I have is just your straight up basic run of the mill, 100% all beef patty with melted cheese, lettuce, tomato, ketchup. What kind of wine would you pair with that? I would go with a red, but not a big heavy red. So I would go okay. somewhere in between. So Pinot Noir I think would really work with this. And what's great about Pinot Noir too in the summer is that you can actually put it on ice and keep it a little bit cooler. Okay, that makes sense. Hot, humid days, I'm thinking red wine. I don't have one of those special wine fridges. How do you keep the temperature okay for red wine? And is it okay to serve it slightly chilled? Absolutely. Perfect. Um, you can keep it in the fridge mm -hmm. for a few minutes before you serve it. I'm gonna forget about it. Okay, right? yeah, <laughs> me too, really. And then it's not at your fingertips either. So, um, you know, just have some ice, but instead of submerging it, just put it on top and oh, kind of let the kind of the coolness Perfect. go up and then you just bring it down and you keep it down a couple degrees, which is great. Yeah. So I brought the Monterey Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. um, this is La Crema is the brand, really cool. Oh, I think I've had this one before. Yes, I think you have. And female winemaker from actually Ontario. Nice. And she's fantastic, Elizabeth Grant Douglas. And she knows Pinot Noir. So this one's interesting because it's coming from south of San Francisco um, in Monterey. Right off the bat, I can, feel it, I don't know how to do wines, but I can feel it at the top of my mouth. It's like perky. Yeah. And you don't have that like long lingering taste or yeah. finish. It's I don't know what you call it. Juicy and fruity and you know, got, it has some nice acid to work with the burger. Yeah. So I think this is gonna be Perfect. a winner. This is a great, easy drinking wine. Yeah. Cheers. Perfect. Cheers. 
So the third burger is the fancy burger. I have the gourmet burger with melted gruyere. I have some double smoked bacon on there, a horseradish mayo. So we're, it's like that burger with the works, the one that you pay like $30 in a restaurant mm -hmm. for. But I'm doing my back garden. What wine would I serve? Okay, so you've got some spicy elements. Yes. Um, you've got some smoky elements. You've mm -hmm. got, you know, that fantastic bacon and cheese. So I have chose a Zinfandel from California. Oh, so Zinfandels are the ones that have a lot, like, more alcohol. <laughs> that's why I buy them because well, they have more alcohol. I guess than the that's <laughs> what they're known for in part. Yeah. Um, but they also happen to be really delicious. Okay. There's not a lot of tannin. There is loads of blackberry and smoky, kind of meaty um, like notes, that. and they're bold and rich. So they're gonna stand up to everything that you have put on that burger and more, and they're gonna really just work together so deliciously. Nice, and it looks like, I mean, in, in comparison to the Pinot, it actually looks like it looks thicker, it looks deeper, it's darker. It has, what, more legs? It's, like it's definitely got more color and more alcohol, as you <laughs> pointed out. Um, but when you Smells taste it, good. you're going to find just like a mouthful of berries and... Um, oh my gosh, yeah. Richness, like, totally different from the Pinot Noir. Totally different. And, you know, that's why this goes with like lots of roasted and Perfect. barbecued intense nice. flavors. Okay, the thing that bothers me the most about backyard barbecues, so I'm gonna tell you what bothers me and then you're gonna give me your number one tip. So what do I do about all the flies getting in my wine all the time? Oh my goodness, okay, that's, that is definitely an issue. Um, you can, you know, keep little coasters or something close by okay. um, to kind of deal with that. I mean, they're on the food as well. They have I those know. beautiful baskets for the food yeah, that you I can cover up. Um, but for wine, you kind of need to use your hand, I guess, and keep an eye on it because especially fruit flies can really change the flavor of the wine, wine. and it's just kind of gross. And if you can leave us with like your number one tip for throwing a barbecue, what can I do? Okay, what, I'm gonna what? give you two quick ones. Okay. One is plastic glasses, because I don't know about your friends, but after a drink or two and then, you yeah, know, dark, right. yeah. So plastic wine glasses Not are fancy great. Crystal. Okay. And um, also stock up, because it's great to have lots of wine. All of the wines that we tasted today are available at the LCBO. Oh, perfect. But it's better to have the extra. You're always going to use it. You can always return it if you need to, mm -hmm. but there's nothing worse than under anticipating. And people show up that maybe you didn't expect. Have you ever actually had to return your wine? Have you no. ever done that? I, I, I oh, don't live in that world, that? <laughs> but if you needed to, that option, the option there is with there with the LCBO. Thank you so much for being here with me today and sharing these lovely wines. Uh, if you guys want the recipes for these burgers, you can find them on my website, www.christinetizzard.com. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, like, comment if you have any ingredients you'd like me to do three ways, any recipes you want me to try out, by all means leave a comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Cheers.